welcome to So Cool Science. Science you should do right at home. I'm just waking up from my day long nap and go on to today's science file. Could a human live forever just by drinking blood? Well, that's an awesome question. Try these. You will need a straw and some scissors. Today, I'm going to show you how to make your very own vampiric fangs that you could use at an upcoming costume party. No, no, I mean just as a vampire. Or for your very own vampiric epic. Yes! So the first thing you're going to need is a straw. And I'm talking about one of these little bendy straws, not one of those from the hail of bay. Bay of what? Hey, bale of hay. <laughs> not see, no, because see, I meant to do that. That is what we call in the entertainment industry, comedy. Of course, yeah, you're going to need the scissors. You know, because you're going to find it hard to cut the straw without them. <laughs> All right, start by cutting the straw right where the bendable piece begins. Find the middle of this and bend this in half. Now pinch one end and use your scissors to cut a diagonal on one side of the straw. Flip this over and then cut another diagonal on the other side of the straw. Now pull these pieces apart. Slide your scissors inside the double fang and clip off one end. Do this for the other one as well. Then make sure you cut tiny little slits at the top end of each fang. Now attach these to your canine teeth, and voila, your very own vampiric fangs. Now, these little plastic fangs are pretty wicked cool at making you look like a vampire. So, are vampires real, and could a human live forever just by drinking blood? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. Vampires got their start during the Middle Ages from people who misunderstood the process of a decomposing body. As people dug up mass graves to bury the high number dying from the plague, they noticed that some of the bodies were bloated and had what appeared like blood surrounding the mouth and nose. This misunderstanding of bacteria decomposing the organs and releasing gases causing the body to swell, as well as decomposing fluids being pushed out of the mouth, led people to believe that the dead were returning from the grave and feasting on the blood of the living. This story was handed down from generation to generation as it changed and evolved into our modern version of the vampire today. You might think that you could live forever like the vampire myth just by drinking blood. Unfortunately, drinking blood would actually lead to your death. Blood doesn't contain enough protein, vitamins, and minerals needed to sustain life. In fact, blood only contains about a gram or two of protein per liter of blood. So just to get the amount of protein your body needs every day, you would have to drink about 50 liters of blood every day. Each liter of blood also contains about 15 grams of iron. So you'd be getting about 750 grams plus of iron. And therefore, you'd be dead before the end of the day from iron poisoning. So now you know there's no such thing as a vampire. You know, making your own plastic fangs. And why science is so cool.